Well, hello. With all the uh, supply chain issues that we've had uh, over the last year, um, one of the items that we've changed is the stopcocks that we use with the balloon catheters. Um, and since we've made the change, we've had some calls asking how to use the catheters or the stopcocks for the catheters. So this is the newest stopcock that we have, and it has the three points. The older one that we had just had the one point, and it was perceived as being pretty easy to use. And I just want to let you know that this new stopcock is also pretty easy to use, but I'd like to have you change your focus on how you're looking at it. You'll notice that this stopcock has three points here, um, and they're all different ports for outlets. And I think that's where people get confused. What I'd like you to focus on is the flat part. The flat part of the stopcock is the blocking portion of the stopcock. So if I have it turned here, I'm blocking off the catheter. If I have it turned here, I'm blocking out the outlet port. And if I have it turned here, I'm blocking off the syringe. So what I want to do, let's say if I want to go ahead and fill the syringe so that I can go ahead and fill the balloon. The first thing I'll do is turn my blocker over to the catheter. Now I'm able to draw in air through this side port. And now I'm going to block this side port with my flat end. And now as you can see, as I push, I can expand the balloon. Now if I want to add more air, I'm going to just go ahead and turn my stopcock so I'm blocking the catheter. And now I'm opening up my side port so that I can draw more air into my syringe. And again, we'll do it one more time. I'm going to block off my side port here. And now I'm going to go ahead and push more air into my balloon. And that's as easy as it is. And so uh, that is how we use the new stopcocks here at CMT.